So what we'll do with this video is give a little basics on reading your refrigerant pressure and temperature charts. My biggest advice to anybody new to this, start at this corner right here. The reason why I say that, you see how this one says temperature? Some of your charts might actually put pressure down there where this column would then be pressure while this column here then would be temperature. Since this is labeled temperature, make kind of a line like this. That whole column is going to be temperature, which means you hook your gauges to a refrigeration system. Everything in this whole area here is going to be pressure. So what you'll then be doing is going from a pressure to your temperature here. So let's look at, what's this one here, R22. Let's say we go down here to 68.5 PSIG. That means with this chart, R22 would be 40 degrees. If it was the other way, where pressure was here, temperature was there, you'd follow pressure here to temperature there. So always start in that corner. Now, let's pick on R134A right quick for a second. Let's go down to, to, let's say you had a reading on your gauges of 17 PSI. We have a 15 and we have 18. Well, there's no 17 there. Here's what I've always done. You go over here, you see where 15 PSI will equal 15 degrees. 18 PSI equals 20 degrees. And if you're at 17, what temperature are you going to use? Split it down the middle. 16 degrees sound good, or 17 degrees? Run with that portion, because as long as it's split in an equal way. If you're closer to the number here, run a little closer to that number. You don't want to... Well, I personally wouldn't do the 15 if I had 17 PSI, because... 15 degrees is related to the 15 PSI G mark. I'd go with like 16 or 17 on that. So hopefully this will kind of help some people figure out how to read a PT chart. Remember, bubble point is when the refrigerant boils off. Dew point is when it condenses. Enjoy.